Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Historically, in order to do compositing in Photoshop, one had to be highly skilled. Well, over the years, Photoshop has been updated considerably and the tools needed for compositing have seen the most upgrades. Now, it's very easy to do compositing and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is. What we're going to do is clip this woman out of this scene and we're going to put her in this scene. All right, we're going to start out with the lady. We're going to clip her out first. In order to clip her out, we need to make a selection of her. To make a selection, you get a selection tool. Hit the W key on your keyboard and you'll get one of three selection tools over here. Object, quick, or the magic wand tool. Doesn't matter which one is active. Just make sure you hit W. Then at the top, you'll see two buttons. Select subject and select a mask. Just click on select subject and Photoshop will find the subject in your image and select it. You can see we have marching ants now around our subject, but it's not a perfect selection. Uh, it selected part of the table and it selected the chair over here and it didn't select all of her blouse right here. So we need to fix that. What we'll do first, go to the quick selection tool. Now we need a very specific tool. So make sure you're using the quick selection tool and by default, you'll be in add mode. That means Wherever you're going to click, you're adding to the selection. And the right bracket key will make the brush larger and the left bracket key smaller. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm getting all of her blouse. So I'm adding to the selection. But I want to remove the table down here. So I need to get a minus brush to remove that uh, selection from the table. I'll get a larger brush. And instead of going up here and clicking like the minus brush, all you need to do is hold in the Alt or Option key. Alt if you have PC, Option if you have Mac keep that key held in and you'll have a minus brush. Then we could come in and deselect from that table and we gotta get this little area right in there a little better. Okay, and now I want kinda, you'll see as you click, it gets, it gets better and better as you do it. And I need to get rid of the chair that's behind her. So I, again, I need to remove from the selection. So I'll hold in the option key on my Mac and come up here. And there's a little piece of those folds on her uh, skirt. And I need to get a smaller brush for that. Hit the left bracket key, hold in that option key. Get in there. All right. So now we have a really nice rough selection. We're going to refine it further. So to do that, we're going to go up to select and mask. And when you do that, uh, you'll see on my computer, I have this red um, overlay. Wherever it's red, that's what's getting clipped away. And uh, you could change that. A lot of people don't care for the red. They care for something. They prefer something else. Just go to this drop down and you could do, you know, whatever you want. A lot of people prefer like on black. And then you could affect the opacity of the black with this slider here. Um, personally, again, I prefer the red for most instances. Now, as I look at it, um, the only thing that I think is really troublesome at the moment is her hair. You could see right in here, it didn't get between her hair very well. Now you could come up here and click this refine hair button, but what I found is that often makes it worse. But let's try it. We'll click refine hair. And you could see it, it refined the hair, but you could see how the red now is over in here. That's going to cause us issues. We need her hair to be solid black, not like with this red there. So the refine hair in this instance didn't work. So I need to undo it. Hit Command or Control Z as in Zebra. That will undo your last step. Don't go over here and hit the undo button on the far right because that undoes everything and you don't want to undo everything. So, pretty good selection. Her hair right in here, I could see a little bit of the um, original wall behind her there. So I need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is get the Refine Edge brush. It's the second br brush from the top over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to be in plus mode and I'm simply going to come in here and click and paint on those areas that I think need to be fixed. And that's it. Maybe right in there a little bit too. 
And that is it. That looks pretty good. So I like it the way it is. Um, I think we have a good selection. I don't even have to come over here and move any sliders or anything at all. I'm going to go down to Output 2, and you could output... I would say I recommend you output it to either a selection or a new layer with a layer mask. I'm going to just do a selection and click OK. We're back to the original image with the marching ants. I want to put her by herself on her own layer. So I'm going to hit, going to hit Command-J on my Mac. It's Control-J on a PC. Turn off that background layer, and you can see we have her clipped out. And you can see between her hair there, we could see transparency. So it worked out well. Now I need to get her from here and put her in the room over here. And to do that, I'm going to get the Move tool. The V key on your keyboard is the keyboard shortcut for the Move tool. It's right here. We're going to click right on her and just drag her up to that tab of the room and just drop her in. Now, um, of course, she's way too small for the room, so we need to resize her. So I'm going to put her over around where I want her to be over here. And I need to get the Free Transform tool. Hit Command or Control T to get the Free Transform tool. And I'm just going to grab a handle and make her fit the room. Pretty, pretty good. Now, the bottom, let me leave it at that for a minute. I'm going to click the checkbox. You can see the bottom of her skirt looks a little rough, so I want to make sure that doesn't show. So even if I move it like, if I move her right there, you see how it looks rough? So I want to make sure that doesn't show. So I'm going to go back to free transform mode, hit Command-T, and drag that down so it's off the image and then drag her up just a little bit more, just like that. Now, I'm lucky in this instance because the window is at camera right and the light's coming in that way and that is the way her face and body uh, happens to be lit. So that's good. If the window was on the other side of the room and I needed to flip her to do that in free transform mode when you have this box up here, just right click on her or on inside of the box and go to flip horizontal. So that's all you need to do to flip it so that the lighting matches. Now in this case, I didn't need to do that. The lighting did match, so I, I'm good to go. I'm going to click checkbox. Now, she actually fits the room pretty well, uh, but often what you'll find is the colors won't match, and they don't match too much here, uh, That you know, a little bit. The room it has lower color saturation than she does, so I need to fix that. There's a new tool in Photoshop. Now it's in beta. It's a neural filter that will take care of this. It's called Harmonize. To get to that, we're going to go up to Filter, Neural Filters. And it's over here. I mentioned it's in beta, so it's in the beta part. It's called here Harmonization. We'll turn that on. Now you just need to tell it what the background layer is. So click on this drop down and go to Background. And you could see that at the bottom it's processing on device. Let it do its thing. And it did it. So it, it kind of took some of the color away, but for my liking, I think it made um, the it just made her a little too dark. The lighting, I don't think, is 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 right because the room is very bright. Now what it's doing is it's assuming she's more backlit. That's why it made um, you know the front of her face and everything, front of her body, a little darker. But I don't like that. I'm gonna so I'm gonna brighten it up. I'm gonna move this to the right. See what that looks like. Let it process. And there, I think that looks a little better. Now, again, you have control too over the cyan, magenta, and yellow color mix, and also the um, saturation overall. So if I thought it was still too much saturated, I could bring this to the left, or if I want to give more saturation, move it to the right. So the overall strength, though, I could even bring that down if I wanted to. But I think she fits the scene, so I'll click OK. Now, when you do that, what this neural filter will do is it will give you an entirely new layer, so it's non-destructive. There's our original layer that I just dragged over, and there is the one that had Harmonize added to it. Now, I'm going to take the original layer. I don't need it, so I'm just going to throw it out. You don't have to do that. You just turn it off. And um, I think that's it. You can see how easy it is to do compositing. Now, I just want to mention one more thing because you may run into one issue. Often when you clip out something, anything, and you put it in another image, you'll get some fringing going around it. Most often what I found it's a white fringe, but every now and then you'll get a black fringe. We don't really have that here, but what I'm talking about is wherever like a darker area is, like the darker area of her skirt or arm, you get like a little white line. If you encounter that, make sure you're click, clicked on that layer that has, in this case, the person, the clip out. Then go up 
to layer down to matting and then you want to either remove the black mat or remove the white mat now like I mentioned most often it's white I'll click on that and you can see it actually filled out her hair a little more so you might run into that and if you do just do that and you're good to go so the new tools in Photoshop really help compositing I mean it makes it very very easy so many people could do um, compositing now without all those hours of practice many of us had to do. So that's it for this video. I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.